In this screencast, I will demonstrate a technique for decolorizing an unimportant part of a raster image and emphasizing other areas with color in Inkscape version 0.46. So in other words, I'll attempt to colorize a black and white photo. This tutorial should be a quick one and a very basic one, perfect for the Inkscape novice. Also, Richard and I would like to send out a special thank you to Peter Carrero for letting us know what we needed to do to get our key status monitor working again in Ubuntu Intrepid. So thank you, Peter. All right, let's begin. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is I need to bring in a digital photo. Okay, and I'm going to, what I have is a, a digital photo sitting on my desktop. So what I'm going to do is left click from my desktop and drop it right off onto my canvas in Inkscape. Okay, and this is a photo of my kids taken uh, several years ago uh, in the fall. Um, so I'll go ahead and use that as an example photo. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, zoom out a little bit. What I want to do is uh, basically digitize around this face, around this face, and make everything outside of the path uh, black and white or grayscale. So let's get started. First thing that I'm going to do is zoom in on this first face. And I'm going to grab my Bezier tool and I'm just going to draw a path all the way around my face. And you don't have to worry about how accurate your path is because you're going to be zoomed out for one and two we can come back in and simplify the path so it's not quite so jagged It is a little tedious to go all the way around something. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill that in with black so I can see my path. Okay, and what we're going to do now is we're going to zoom in on this face. And I'll digitize around this one. Okay, I'll try to quicken this up a little bit. Okay, and I'll close that path and we'll fill it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to select these uh, paths individually, and I'm going to hit Control L, and that'll simplify the path. I'll just do that one time. The more that you hit Control L or do a simplify, your path gets uh, rounder, rounder, and rounder. And basically, what it does is is eliminate some of the nodes on the path to simulate kind of a curvature. Okay, so I've done that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this picture two times. So I'm going to left click on this picture, right click, duplicate, 
left click, right click, and duplicate again. And I'm going to take uh, my duplicated copy and I'm going to send it all the way to the back. I'm going to select it again and send that version all the way to the back. Okay, so both of my duplicated copies are sitting in the back. Now what I'm going to do is uh, select my first uh, image or my object, I guess, my path, and then I'm going to hold my shift key down and select one of my uh, duplicated uh, pictures. I'm going to go to Object, Clip, Set. I'll do that again. I'll select my object over here, my image, by shifting and uh, holding that down to select both. And then I'll go to Clip, Set, and then I have that one. So basically, what I have is this, okay? So I've just kind of drawn all the way around a face and then just kind of blown out the surrounding image. So I'll undo to put those back on. And I only have this one image left. Okay, so there's only one. I'll undo that. Okay, so our next trick is how do we make this image back here black and white? Okay, now I just want to let you know that in the uh, next release of Inkscape, I think it's uh, version 0.47, um, there is a raster effect that you can apply uh, to your image which will convert it to grayscale. The problem is with that is once you do that, that is destructive, meaning that once you apply the effect, you can't, you can't turn the effect off or get back to your original. Okay, um, And that effect will be in the future located in your raster uh, effects and then you'll find a uh, grayscale in there. It's not on this version of 0 0.46 yet, uh, but not to worry. Uh, because I think I have a better method and uh, what I'd like to do is use a filter effect and by using a filter effect um, what we can do is uh, the the point of a filter effect is it's non-destructive meaning that you can turn it off and get back to your original picture so if we save it come back a month from now open it up and we decide that boy I just don't like the black and white I want the color back we can just uncheck the filter and we'll get it back okay so the first thing that we need to do is set up a filter. So uh, what I'm going to do is go to Object, Filter Effects. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. And I'm going to go and add a new. And I'm going to click on this and we'll call this uh, Grayscale. And what we need to do is find our color matrix, add the effect. Uh, I want to make sure that uh, my dot or my node is on the source graphic. Okay, and I'm going to come down here to matrix. I'm going to select saturate. And I'm going to I'm going to make that unit 0 0.02. It doesn't take very much. Okay, and what I'm going to do is highlight my image and then check my box. Okay, and it's that easy. If I want it turned off, I just uncheck and I'm back to the color again. So that's where all the magic happens in this uh, filter effect. Okay, and that is basically it. Okay, so let me zoom in on that. Okay, and that's our screencast. So basically, what I've done is I've digitized around a color image uh, an area which I want to save which I want it to be colorized, and de-emphasize the surrounding image and uh, made that black and white or grayscale. Um, now, this effect I've seen in a hundred places on the internet, and uh, mostly it's done. I've seen it in Photoshop. I've seen it in GIMP. Um, never seen a, a, a Krita uh, screencast doing this, but it's very easy to do in Inkscape, and uh, it might even be faster. So that's pretty much uh, the screencast. And I want to point out something. Um, if you hit export right now, export bitmap, and you were to select drawing, uh, basically what's going to happen is you're going to get everything that's drawn on your canvas and you're going to export that. Let's say, for example, you wanted that cropped. Well, there is a trick. And what you can do is go to File, Document Properties, 
and let me slide this back into view here we can uh, expose our border on top of our drawing and I'm gonna make that border white so we can see it maybe I should make it black there we go the opposite way okay and by doing that you you actually see my page border coming through the image so you know where my image is now if I were to select my page border and make that a little bit bigger let's say for example I wanted to make that uh, 900 by 700 let's see how big that would make things we'll make that a little bit bigger let's go a thousand by 800 okay and what I'm gonna do is grab everything here and I'm gonna group this so I can move it okay and I'm gonna take this again go to my align and distribute and center that on my page okay and basically when I do that now when I export, I can export just what I see on my page. So in a sense, I can use my page border as a clipping border and clip out everything else that I don't want to see. So when I do that, I can go to Export Bitmap and only select my page, and then anything that's on my page or inside the border will, will uh, be exported out to a PNG. So I just wanted to let you guys know of that little tip. So uh, that is our screencast, and again, th this was a very simple one, uh, uh, perfect for the Inkscape newbie out there. Uh, so thank you for watching. I'm HeathenX.